Hello everyone, my name is Vivek. I am a software developer. I make videos about containers, Kubernetes, Go as a programming language and sometimes about software engineering in general. In this particular video, we are going to look into what are teens and tolerations in, in terms of Kubernetes. I, I already have set up a three node Kubernetes cluster that we are going to see the things on. So if we talk about taints and tolerations, uh, let's first try to understand what are the use cases in which particular use case you would want to uh, use taints and tolerations, right? So for example, let's say let's say you you have a, you have a three node cluster, right? So you have all these three nodes on your Kubernetes cluster and you have a workload, right? Let's say W1. This workload actually requires GPU to run, right? So this is the need of the application that is running on this particular node, right? So this node, this, this particular application or pod requires a hardware, a GPU hardware to run, right? In that particular case, there are chances that you would want some of the nodes in your Kubernetes cluster to have GPU compatibility, right? So let's say this is uh, this is the node that that is GPU compatible, right? So what you would like to do is you would like to actually taint this particular node, right? With with key key is going to be let's say hardware and value is going to be GPU, right? So it, it simply means that it simply means that the workloads only the workloads that have this particular toleration or that have toleration for this particular taint are allowed to schedule or allowed to get scheduled on this particular node, right? So for example, if this workload needs to run on this particular node, if we if we add toleration in this particular workload respective to this particular taint there are chances that this workload is going to be scheduled on this node right so this is this is an use case where we can we can actually leverage taints and toleration now one thing that i would like to emphasize on is even though this particular workload has respective toleration for, for the taint that has been specified, it's not necessary that this particular workload is actually going to is actually going to run on this particular node, right? There are chances that this workload is scheduled on other nodes as well, right? So this is one thing that I would like to emphasize on. So taints simply mean that any workload that doesn't have toleration for this particular taint would not be allowed right to get scheduled on this particular node another use case that i would like to discuss about is for example let's say let's say you something is wrong with this particular node right and you would want this particular node to to get out of the cluster so in that case what you can do is you can actually taint this particular node right so for example let's say key equals to not ready and value is going to be yes right and in that case the the pods that are scheduled in this particular node if they don't have this toleration they would actually uh, be evicted right so yeah i mean these are some of the use cases where you can actually leverage concept of taints and toleration to to manage the things or to achieve the things right so now that we have a basic understanding of taints and toleration, uh, let's just go ahead and try to see how do we actually taint a node, right? So to taint a node, we actually use standard Kubernetes or a kubectl command format that is kubectl and then verb, right? So we want to taint the node, so we are going to use taint and then resource. So we are going to taint the node, so that's why uh, the name node here and then resource name. So let's say we want to taint this particular node, right? Uh, third one. Okay. And to taint a node, we specify, we basically or usually specify three things, key, value and effect. 
So let's say in, in our example that we discussed about key is going to be hardware and value is going to be GPU, right? So hardware colon or equals to GPU colon effect is going to be, let's say, no schedule, right? Uh, we are going to look into this particular effect or what are the effects and why do we use them in, in a bit, right? But for now, we can, for now you can, you can just understand that this is the format of taint when we try to when we try to taint a node right and if i just hit enter we can see that this particular node has been tainted right and if we see if we try to look into this particular this particular node we should be able to see that the node has been tainted with the specified key value and an effect so here we go we can see that the the node has been tainted right and once node has been tainted to get a particular or to specify toleration respective to this particular taint we we will have to specify toleration in in in, in the workload or in the pod right so for example let's say we created a taint right with key with value and then effect right now if we want to if we want to create toleration for this particular taint what we can do is we can say tolerations right and this is taints i think uh, because we can specify multiple taints right that's why plural here similarly for tolerations so we can specify key value and we can specify effect right there is another field that we can specify that is operator and we are going to look into this uh, right right away so let's say we have specified key equals to hardware here right and value is going to be let's say gpu and effect is going to be no schedule right now when we specify toleration uh, we can specify any of the values right so for example a b c d e f effect is going to be effect and operator is going to be let's say operator right we can we can specify any value that we want to but in order to make sure that this toleration matches the taint that has been specified right here are some of the conditions so first condition is key should match right second condition is effect should match right and so key should match effect should match right so key is hardware so we have specified let's let's specify hardware and effect is no schedule so we have specified no schedule now in in the case of tolerations we specify operator as well right so if we specify operator to be equals right in that case value in that case we will we will have to specify value as well and value should also match right but if in the case we we didn't actually specify operator to be equal but we specify operator to be exists right so it simply means we don't have to specify we don't have to specify value just the key should match with with the key that is present in the taint right and we we don't have to specify the value in that particular case now operator here is actually optional and if we don't uh, specify operator the default value is equals and if default value is equals you will have to specify value right and and then value should also match so if i remove operator from here and we specify gpu now it simply means that this toleration that we have specified actually matches the taint that we have here right and if we want to let's say specify operator to be to be exists Right? In that case, we don't have to specify the value. It simply says that key with hardware and effect no schedule should just exist in, in the taints list. Right? This is what this particular toleration is, is, is trying to say. Right? Uh, yeah, so I mean, this is 
this is how we figure out if a toleration matches the taint that has been that has been uh, specified right and we are going to look, actually create a pod with, with the toleration that a taint that a node all, is already tainted with right uh, the other thing that i would like to discuss about is so let's say we leave the key empty right so let's say we leave the key empty with operator to be exists in that case this is going to match all the keys right that are there in in the tains right so for example so yeah i mean in if we have this particular taint and we have specified this particular toleration right so it simply means that this toleration matches this particular taint right because key is equals to empty and operator equals to exist simply means that this is going to this is going to match all the taints and if we have specified operator to be exists we don't actually have to specify a value right so this taint will match or sorry this toleration will match this particular taint right so yeah this is a special uh, condition another Another special thing that I would like to discuss about is uh, if we talk about effect, right? If we don't specify, if we don't specify effect, in that case, uh, we are going to match the things uh, with key. So I have, I have written things down here. So if we if we don't specify effect or we have specified empty effect, in that case, uh, all the effects are matched. Uh, with the key that we have specified so if we do something like this this is also going to work right or if we say value equals to gpu and effect equals to this this simply means that this particular toleration is going to match this particular taint so these are two special uh, special hand handlings where we can uh, specify empty key or, or empty effect right uh, now now that we have basic understanding of how taints and tolerations look let's just go ahead and try to try to schedule a pod right with the toleration respective to the to the taint so we have tainted this particular node if i just go ahead and try to specify tolerations right key is going to be hardware and value is going to be to be gpu right and then effect is going to be no schedule right and once we have set up this let's delete any pod we have already created okay and create hyphen f pod dot yaml just to just to uh, clarify the things once again we have tainted this particular node and we have specified respective toleration for this part on, on this particular pod so cube cuttle get pods hyphen o wide and we can see that the pod has been scheduled on on this node right uh, even though it has toleration for this particular node so yeah i mean this is this is this was intentional this is what i i actually tried to show so if even even though the pod has the toleration for the node for this specific node uh, as i said earlier it's totally possible or allowed that the workload can be scheduled on other nodes as well right but if we want to get that particular pod if we want to let's say this particular pod it's necessary that this particular pod must be deployed on this particular node in that case uh, there is a concept of node affinity so combination of taints and toleration with node affinity can be used to make sure that this pod is all, always going to be scheduled on this particular node maybe we would be looking into node affinity in, in in later videos but yeah i mean combination of these two can be used uh to make sure this particular pod would be scheduled on this particular node but if we talk about just taints and toleration taints and toleration just say that any pod that doesn't have the tol toleration is not allowed to to get scheduled on this particular node 
right so yeah i mean this is this is about what what i wanted to discuss uh, about about taints and tolerations right now let's just go ahead and try to try to taint the other nodes as well right so for example taint node and Okay, this node, this node was already tainted. Let's just go ahead and try to taint this one. Okay, so now now we have we have tainted all the all the nodes, and if I try to create let's say another pod, right? So. And in in the pod one, we are not going to specify any toleration, right? And and it's it's pretty clear that all the all the nodes are tainted. And since we are not actually specifying any toleration, this particular pod will not be actually uh, scheduled. So we can see that this is the earlier pod that is already running. Okay. And this pod has been scheduled on the node that is V9. Let's just go ahead and try to check if V9 has the pain. Okay, so we, we have not tainted we have not tainted the other node right so yeah this particular node is not tainted and that is the reason this particular workload has been scheduled on on this particular node right if i just go ahead and try to taint this node as well that case we can see that all 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 the pods that are scheduled there are, are already running are running right and the reason is they were already scheduled on on those nodes right so now here here comes or let me just go ahead and try to create another pod right just to show you that if the pod doesn't have respective tolerations it, it would not actually be uh, scheduled so And in the case of pod two, right now that now that pod two doesn't have any toleration and all the nodes are tainted, if we try to go ahead and try to create pod two, this should not be set scheduled. Right? And as, as we can see this particular pod is in pending state and the reason is all the nodes are tainted but but this this pod doesn't actually tolerate uh, the the taints if i try to describe the pod to you so here all the three nodes have have taint hardware equals to gpu right but but the pod doesn't actually tolerate right so yeah uh this is what i i wanted to discuss about taints taints and tolerations right now let's just go ahead and try to look into what do we actually mean uh what do we actually mean when we say when we say uh 
effect equals to no schedule right so we can specify we can specify three types of uh, effect that that are no schedule prefer no schedule right and the third one is no execute right so now we 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 usually in in the case of no schedule it simply means that if the pod or workload doesn't actually tolerate that end, it 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 will it would strictly not be allowed or, or scheduled on on the specified node right but in the case of prefer no schedule it simply means that even though the pod if if the pod doesn't tolerate the taint and there are no other options available so for example in in our case all three nodes are tainted right so k get nodes in our case all the three nodes are tainted and when we tried to when we tried to create pod 2 right it was not scheduled it was in pending state because it didn't tolerate any 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 of the any of the things but and and the reason was if we look into the node we have specified we have specified the effect to be no scheduled so it simply means that the pod or the workload strictly strictly will not be scheduled if if if, if it doesn't tolerate if it doesn't tolerate the taint right but in, in case of pre prefer schedule let's just go ahead and try to change try to change the effect to be prefer no schedule i'm not sure if this is the correct spelling or let's just go ahead and try to figure that out no dot teams yeah prefer no schedule okay so yeah now if i try to if i try to summarize the things once again all these three nodes are tainted but a fit that we are using for these two nodes is no schedule but for this particular node, we are using prefer no schedule, right? So it simply means that it would be if the workload doesn't doesn't tolerate the taint, it's preferred that it it would it would not be scheduled. But if there are no other options, the pod would be scheduled, right? So let's just go ahead and try to create the pod once again, right? Pod two dot yaml, and if I try to get all the all the pods. We can see that this particular pod has been scheduled on v9 right and and the only reason is we have changed the effect to be prefer no schedule right instead of no schedule and and the the pod has been scheduled on this particular node so this is the difference between schedule and prefer no schedule right in in case of no execute it simply means that if a pod has already been scheduled on a particular node if we change the if we change the effect to be no execute those pods would be evicted would be evicted from the node right so yeah i mean that is uh, what this effect key means when we specify when we try to specify taint right now that we now that we know about we have basic understanding about taints and tolerations what we can do is we can actually go ahead and try to discuss about another field that we have while specifying tolerations and and that is that is toleration seconds right so for example let's say we have we have specified or we have tainted nodes with effect no execute right and in that case if we try to if we try to uh, if we try to schedule a particular pod right with the matching toleration right but but also specifying toleration seconds so for example we have all these nodes right let's just go ahead and try to edit the node first node right and if we change the taint to be no execute right in this particular case in this particular case if we just go ahead and try to create another pod right pod let's say three right and in this particular pod 
if we specify the toleration t would be let's say hardware value is going to be gpu and effect is going to be going to be no execute right now if we specify toleration sake and seer and let's say we specify 60 right so it, it simply means that this particular pod would be there only for 60 seconds right and if we even so the, the thing that I would like to highlight is even though the toleration is matched with the taint that is there in the node right this particular pod will only be allowed to run on that particular node for for 60 seconds and if we don't specify toleration seconds in that particular case this pod would be bound to the node uh, for, forever right so let's just go ahead and try to so i'm going to look in to watch all the pods right so we can see we would be able to see all all the pods uh, that are running all the two pods that are running we have tainted the first node with no execute and let's just go ahead and try to create the third pod right and we can see that the pod is being created on first node right and first node is the node that has no execute taint right again it's not necessary that i didn't know that the pod is going to be scheduled on this particular node but fortunately it, it 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 did right and what i'm expecting now is after 60 seconds this particular pod should be evicted from from this particular from this particular node right even though the toleration is matching the taint but since we have specified toleration seconds only for this particular workload would be running on that node only for 60 seconds and if we did not specify toleration seconds in that case the pod would be bound on that particular node forever right so yeah i mean uh, this is this is pretty much it uh, that i wanted to discuss about taints and tolerations the other here we go so after 60 seconds that pod has been has been just vanished right so yeah the the other thing that i would like to that I would like to discuss about is uh, multiple multiple taints and multiple tolerations right so let, let's just assume let's just assume your node has your node has multiple taints right so for example let's say this is your node right and you have taint 1 you have taint 2 you have taint 3 and taint 4 right similarly let's say your your pod right this pod actually has tolerations let's say tl1 tl2 tl3 and tl4 let's say right and if all those all these tolerations are matching with the taints that we have specified it simply means that this pod is allowed to run on this particular node right but in the cases let's say only let's say only uh, these three tolerations are matching with this these three taints right so in that case this particular taint is not tolerated by this particular pod right so this is how things work in case of multiple taints and multiple toler tolerations so so matching taints are actually ignored i would say and from from if we talk about unignored taints things would be applied as as we discussed right so for example if there is no schedule the pod the pod will not be scheduled if the effect is preferred no schedule in that case pod will not be scheduled if there are un other options and in the case of no execute if, if the pod is already scheduled uh, it, it would be evicted right so this is how this is how things work if there are multiple taints and tolerations uh, in in the nodes and and workloads respectively right uh, so there are some there are some other there are some default taints that node controller adds 
uh, to the nodes you can do you can you can uh, look into that by going to the kubernetes standard documentation so let me uh, just pull that up so yeah i mean if we look into some default taints so these are some of the default taints that uh, node controller added adds in in some uh, situations right so yeah this was this was pretty much it uh, what i wanted to discuss about taints and tolerations if you liked the video you can you should uh, consider subscribing to the channel and i i will see you in the next one